the Miami Dolphins were able to pick up their second win of the season as they beat the Houston Texans on Sunday. This wasn't a good win at all for the Dolphins, but at this point, a win is a win for Miami. There were nine turnovers in this game, which is unheard of in the NFL. At the end of the day, Miami was able to pick up their second win of the season. They did so with their backup quarterback Jacoby Brissett. Tua was out for the Dolphins with a broken finger. They're not sure when the quarterback is going to return but it is possible that he returns for the Thursday night matchup versus the Baltimore Ravens. Let's take a look at some takeaways from the Dolphins' Week 9 win. Dolphins' Week 9 Takeaways 3. Mike Jasicki needs to get the ball more. Mike Jasicki made some Superman-like catches today. He's one of the more talented tight ends in the NFL and it's puzzling why Miami still doesn't give him the ball that much. There are some weeks where Jasicki will get targeted more often than not, and then the next week he only has a few targets. He's a very talented tight end and for the sake of the Dolphins, hopefully, their coaching staff realizes this sooner rather than later. 2. If they beat the teams they should have they'd be right in playoff contention. The Dolphins had three losses in a row that were extremely tough losses. They lost to the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Atlanta Falcons on last second field goals. They lost to the Buffalo Bills after only giving up three points in the first half. Unfortunately for Miami, they didn't do what good teams do. When good teams face off against lesser opponents, more times than not, they come away with the victory. If Miami was to win these games, they would be in first place in their division. In sports, it's tough to play the if game because at the end of the day, the Miami Dolphins are 2-7. With all that talent that's on that roster, it should never be that way but unfortunately for them, they haven't been able to get wins. 1. Tua needs to start playing. For most of the time that Tua has been in the Dolphins organization, he has been injured. This was a concern coming out of college. Many people believed that he was injury prone and right now it looks like those people are right. The Dolphins will hope that he can come back for Thursday's game against the Baltimore Ravens. If the Dolphins want a chance to compete against one of the best teams in football, they're going to need their starting quarterback. Times are dark in Miami, but if a couple of things went differently, the Dolphins' season could be in a completely different place. Miami needs to start playing some better football and use this as a stepping stone for next season. They have a tough task on Thursday night but they will look to get a win against one of the better teams in football.